Pulling into Albuquerque's downtown rail runner station, you'll encounter the new incarnation of the historic El Alvarado. And blocks away on another set of tracks is an old steam engine also getting a new lease on life. Thanks to the New Mexico Steam Locomotive Railroad Historical Society. So Mike, tell me some of the history about this locomotive. Well, this locomotive was built as part of the war effort in 1944. The Santa Fe Railroad needed a lot of locomotives for all the freight and troop traffic and so forth. And steam locomotives, they didn't want them. They wanted those brand new fancy diesels. Right. But high horsepower, lightweight, compact diesel engines were all going to the Navy for submarines, patrol craft. And so they had to go back to building steam designs. And they were good designs. They'd worked them out for many, many years. And built what became the last run of passenger locomotives for the Santa Fe Railroad. There were 30 of them built. There's only six of them left. This is the only one that'll ever run again. From the onset, when you have this big piece of machinery, you know, what, what is the goal when you say, all right, let's attack this? The goal is to sell you a ticket huh. and take you for a ride. Uh, this uh, machine has basically been torn down to uh, the bare metal and everything has been dismounted and rehabilitated. We're putting it back together. That's so cool. And so these would be occasional excursions with maybe four or 500 passengers and cars behind the locomotive going for a ride. That's great to see something that was the beast of its time. This was the biggest, fastest uh, northern locomotive, which mm -hmm. is its type of locomotive, and it was the pinnacle. They never got any better than this one. They never built any more of them. There have been no improvements made because there haven't been any more locomotives like this made, period. Wow. Okay. So it is state of the art. And it was state of the art in 1944, and it's still state it's of the still art. Of the, and bringing that to life to people that maybe have no, co you know, correlation or relationship with, you know, railway and locomotive life, right? We, we want to take guys your age <laughs> and show them how their dad and their granddad lived, wow. because they got around this country principally on railroads, on passenger trains. And this is uh, a chunk of history that can live again. I think what you guys are doing is so important for, you know, a from a historical perspective, but also from like an entertainment kind of just understanding like this is, this is fun. This is, this is like work for people back in the yeah. day, but yeah. you guys are volunteering your time to come out here and work on this, this big chunk of machine. And when this thing runs, there's going to be big grins all over the place. Uh, and uh, I'll just be happy to say I was there. <laughs> I made that happen. Yeah. The thousands of man hours put into this locomotive are visible in every inch of the train. And we haven't even gotten to the best part. Wow. Hello. There you go. Come on down. You're good. Not bad. What a man, what a man. All right. Oh, wow. <laughs> This is huge. Welcome to the firebox. Okay, so this is where you guys make the fire for the train, right? Yes, this uh, has an oil burner down between us here. Uh, it throws atomized oil into the center of the firebox and it ignites and the column of flames turns and goes back up over my head and forward all the way to the smoke box on the front end. Okay. Uh, temperature in here is about 2300 degrees Fahrenheit. So five times what your kitchen stove does. It's sort of Jonah in the belly of the whale. These, <laughs> yeah. these aren't ribs, these are uh, hollow uh, tubes that carry water in a passive fashion from the top to the bottom so it can circulate and uh, causes the boil to be more uniform so you don't have a hot spot, a cold spot. Mike has certainly given me an inside glimpse into the inner workings of this engineering marvel. But he's not the only one on hand to dispel the mysteries of this steam engine. On their work days, Wednesdays and Saturdays, any of the volunteers are happy to tour you around and share the knowledge they've amassed while rebuilding the 2926. And their enthusiasm is contagious. That bell signals this group's biggest event, their annual open house, held each year between New Mexico State Fair and Bloom Fiesta. They pull out all the stops, creating a lively mix of activities in the shadow of the massive and majestic 2926. Here, it becomes clear to me the wonder and romanticism associated with the railroad have no age limits. We all love trains. They're just something about them. And I have to say, even with my new knowledge of how a locomotive operates, it does not take away from the magic it embodies. <laughs>